Hello and welcome to Basic Life Support for Infants. There are, once again, some deviations from BLS for children. You'll be checking the pulse using the brachial artery for infants instead of the carotid pulse. Also, compressions can be done with only two fingers in infants. Here we are seeing the same algorithm we saw in BLS for children. Feel free to take this time to study this helpful chart. Let's go into more detail with the One Rescuer BLS process for infants. Step 1 is to shake and shout at the victim to determine if they are responsive. Step 2, assess if they are breathing. If the child is not breathing or responding, yell for help. If someone responds, send him or her to call EMS and to get an AED, in which case you would be doing two rescuer basic life support. Assuming no one responds, feel for the infant's femoral or brachial pulse for no more than 10 seconds. Then initiate CPR, of course only if there is little to no pulse. The infant should be face up on a hard surface. Using two fingers, do compressions in the center of the infant's chest, but make sure not to injure the infant by pressing on the end of the sternum. Compression depth should be about 1.5 inches and at least 100 per minute. Step six, leave the infant to call EMS and get an AED after doing CPR for two minutes or five cycles. Like always, use the AED and follow its prompts and continue CPR until EMS arrives or the infant's condition normalizes. Two rescuer basic life support for infants is only slightly different. First you'll want to shake and shout for a response. Then assess their breathing. If there's no response and no breathing, send the second person to call EMS and get an AED. Feel for the infant's bronchial pulse for no more than 10 seconds. Begin CPR by doing 30 compressions and two breaths until the second rescuer returns. Once the second rescuer returns, you'll switch from 30 to 2 to 15 to 2, with one rescuer doing the compressions and the other doing the breaths. If the second person can fit their hands around the infant's chest, perform CPR using the two thumb encircling hands method. Once again, do not press on the bottom end of the sternum, as this can cause injury to the infant. Make sure your compressions are 1.5 inches deep and at a rate of at least 100 per minute. Lastly, use the AED and follow its prompts while continuing CPR until EMS arrives at the scene. That concludes BLS for Infants. We'll see you next time when we discuss AED use for children and infants. Thank you.